Oh, there we are. Okay, hello, welcome to another Today's Decay, where we celebrate births and beginnings of everything important since the dawn of time. Today is February 24th, and it's a good one. We have a, a special guest here from England, Stuart Rhodes. Hello. Can, can you hear us here? Yes? Hello. Oh, hi. <laughs> uh, yep. All right, so here's what happened today throughout space and time. Uh, Ricardo Frida was born uh 1909 he's not as well known as the people who were inspired by him um italian horror filmmaker who made films like kaltiki the immortal monster i vampiri and the horrible dr hitchcock um uh mario bava was very much uh inspired by him who then inspired uh dario argento and many more but um and while ricardo frida is probably not the definitely not the first horror themed filmmaker in Italy. He's, uh, 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 I'd say he inspired many people and, and, um, cast a shadow upon them. Uh, who else? August Derleth, born this day, 1909, uh, also 1909. While, um, he's a writer in his own right, I'd say he's probably most famous for or most accomplished for embracing the Cthulhu mythos and setting up Arkham House so that way weird fiction remained in print from the 30s onwards. Uh, the, um, I'm probably gonna ruin his name, but in 1929, uh, Zadislaw Bikinski? Bik Bik nope, I'm doing it, forget it. But a uh, phenomenal Polish painter was born. Uh, all sorts of surrealist, horrific uh, creations. The, um, the Battle of Los Angeles UFO incident occurred on this day, 1942. Um, interesting story. I, I don't know how factual it is. The middle of, the middle of World War II and you've got uh, a, a UFO being spotted over the skies of Los Angeles. Uh, also found up in the heavens, the Twilight Zone episode, The Odyssey of Flight 33 premiered on this day, 1961. Uh, the film Kuroneku premiered in this day, 1968. That's a phenomenal uh, Japanese ghost story that if you haven't seen, I would suggest searching out. And on this day in the year 2021, um, it's the release of um, uh, Nigel Lewis and the Satellite Babies? No? What, did I say that wrong? Stuart? Stereo Satellites. Stereo Satellites. <laughs> Sorry, but the song Satellite Baby. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. So please tell me all about this record that just came out. Yes, bit of a delay, but. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. Whoa, you've got it. Well, here's the solid gold easy action <laughs> version. Uh huh. Yep. Just released today. Um, so two tracks recorded 1980. Um, myself, uh, my friend Chris Sherwood and Nigel Lewis in my mum and dad's living room when I was uh, just turned 18. Um, it's got, uh, yeah, Satellite Baby on it, a uh, cracking version of Train Kept to Rolling and me, me singing Surfing Bird, which <laughs> I said to them, you sure you want to release this? <laughs> but uh, it's all good fun. Um, and it's got the it's got the it's got the longest run out I've ever seen on a forty five. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's marvelous stuff and uh, nice little picture sleeve and inlay little story on there and um, it's got some artwork on there by me because I did the original Meteor's artwork as you, you probably know the torch face and all that um, including the. Uh, You've used, they've used this uh, picture that I did of Nigel from when, when I used to do my own little cassettes of live recordings and stuff like that. Uh -huh. So that's on there. And uh, another picture, this is, is my old sketchbook from when I was a teenager. This is, uh, uh, I started this drawing in, nine, in uh, sort of that January 1981 and I finished it to do this, <laughs> for this project, <laughs> it up. It's a Nigel on the on the base there. Um, got some other things in here that might interest you. Is the uh, a sketch I started doing of, of Mark Madonna or Fennec that was used uh, 
Ain't that up, and that was used on the badge. Uh, and I've worn no idea where it's on there. Hang on. Where is it? Bear with me. I'll find it. And this all easy to find. Oh, well, can't find it. You know, the one with the base, the base, playing the base, which is on all the t shirts and the right, right. tattoos and all of that, Mark. Yeah. Yeah, so anyway, exciting to have the record out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. From, from recordings from 40, 41 years ago. Yes, well, yeah. Yeah, well, just, just over 40 years ago, yeah. yeah. I, I'm I'm thrilled that this is finally available to the public. I, I had I had seen that the two tracks or heard the two tracks on YouTube and was blown away by it that that this had been you know sitting on cassette tapes or whatever for at that time probably thirty plus years and how fantastic that on today today's date people can now actually access this and buy it from Crazy Love Records in Germany. Yeah, yeah, sorry, yes, that's the most important thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's, um, <laughs> yeah, it's Crazy Love Records in Germany, and lovely people have put this out. So if you go on their website and uh, do it there, they, he's, uh, we've only done uh, 300 copies, and it's um, available in, so I say, some in different colours, about 50 of each, I think, uh, for uh, red, gold, green, and what's a uh, called green, white, and black. Traditional black vinyl. <laughs> Fantastic. So, hope you enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, this is wonderful. All right, well, we got to go, but um, okay. Uh, thank you so much for for taking part, and thank you so much for uh, putting this out because this is this is great. This is something wonderful in a a, a, a time 2020 2021 where what is there to look forward to or be excited about? Well, here's your answer: this this new record. Yeah, well, partly thanks to you because it used. I think we talked when it was the anniversary of the Meteor's first gig, didn't we? And uh, you said, "Oh, this got two tracks. That's a single." <laughs> <laughs> that prompted me to actually uh, contact somebody and do it. So, shucks. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> My pleasure. Anytime. <laughs> All right. Well, we gotta go. But thank you. All right. See you later. Tune in tomorrow for more dates that really.